everyone. Welcome back to Crime and Justice. What's that saying? What goes around comes around. Mm -hmm. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I've just got a message on some on my WhatsApp. It's about birthday thing. So I don't know what's mm -hmm. going on. Got starting birthday shopping. Oh, okay. <laughs> she just sent me two pictures of, of two items that she's already bought for her son. But her son's birthday's in October, that's my grandson. So, right. So you've all heard the news of the YouTube streets. But I had a feeling it would happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had a feeling the other day this would happen. Because some people just don't know when to keep their mouths shut. Mm -hmm. Right, so I'll go. Let's get that back. So, um, she, um, Full Horn Betty's got no one but herself to blame. She really hasn't. So, it's, I don't know what your views are on this, guys. I just think it's hilarious in one way. It's sad. It's sad because as Jiggy mentioned in the comments before after we started, just mentioned about the twenty thousand dollar bond, and there's been more love and whatever on this channel, on the YouTube, about BHB than there has been about Sebastian. The person who's getting forgotten about this is Sebastian. And it just makes me wonder. Mm -hmm. Like, you got, oh God, why is my phone bleeping? I can't get on Facebook, so I can't. <laughs> I can't get on my Facebook account. I've got to sort out some paperwork and send it off. Right? And then I'll get them back, my Facebook, on again. Oh, shut up. Okay. Um, anyway, so she should get why she didn't go to that court um when was it Thursday? I don't know. She said her lawyer, her attorney, who whoever they are, said not she didn't no need to go. Hmm. Well if that's the case then and she should have been there, then I'd be sacking my lawyer, my attorney. She should have been there. She goes on about this case for weeks, right, since she first got it. Oh, I haven't had my, they haven't handed me the paperwork to me personally. They haven't done this, they haven't done that. Right. So she knew about it, so why didn't she just go? Why did she not just go? Right? She was down there on the... When did she go down there? I believe it was on the... Was it Friday or Saturday? When you, they had the uh, thing on the Saturday, didn't they? Yeah. So it was on... She was down there Friday. So why didn't she just go down a day earlier? Go to that court thing. And then get over and done with and keep her mouth shut. But I don't think they can stop. I don't know if they can stop her actually 
saying Sebastian's name. Because apparently she was arrested on, uh, what was it now? Let's have a look. Charge it up. Charge her name. Okay. Ah, let me see them. Well, I'm going to share this because this is, I'll share it so everyone can see. Now all I typed in was a name and arrest and arrest charges, right? But I'm confused. It's, it says Andra Griffin was arrested and charged with making a false report to law enforcement about the commission of a crime, according to a report in, Flo in the Florida Times Union. Griffin is charged with a first degree misdemeanor, punishable by a year by up to a year in county jail. Hmm. What's this one going to say? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Forgotten Whisper. No, I think that's a YouTube channel. Right. So. So she's charged. I don't know. Was that the charges she's been given for now? Is that what she's been charged with now? Making a false report? Or was it violating one of the three protected protection orders? Because I know she wasn't allowed to go within a certain distance of. Katie or Kathy or his father, stepfather. I know she wasn't allowed to go by the house or any third person to go by her house working with her. Um, what else was it? There's loads of little things she wasn't allowed to do. But I don't think they can have to stop her talking, saying his name. But she knew by going to this bike ride for Sebastian, she would get arrested. She knew it. Has she got an attorney? Because I'm sure her attorney would have said, don't go. Do not go. Right? She's not supposed to have anything to do with Sebastian Rogers. Nanny in your six five. When they set bond, it was saying no bond this morning. I don't know when they set the bond. Just before I come on, I heard that a bond of twenty thousand dollars had been set. So it's two thousand dollar bond. Uh, two thousand dollars she'd have to pay. Which I'm sure she's paid to, and I'm sure she's out, and she'll be back on YouTube, and she'll be spouting up again. Right? So I don't, I know that's what, I changed my title because at first it said no bond. And then I found out just before I come live, it was 20, so I've changed it. Have I got the right amount of zeros yet? Yeah. <laughs> I'm never, never sure if when I'm writing uh, a number out. When I'm doing like over a hundred, when I start going over a hundred, right, whether I've got the right amount of zeros at the end. <laughs> That's my maths for you. Anything over 999, forget it, I don't know how many zeros go after that. <laughs> right, so i don't i'm confused i don't know what she's what the charges are whether it's for violation of a protection order 
the order that was put against her. Whether it was a bench warrant for not attending the court the other day. Oh well. But nice to see you hanging up. I'll just put this one up first so people who are watching on replay will see. I'm trying to understand how they could charge her for breaking when she hadn't been served with the judgment. Has she not been served with that judgment then, Nana? Nana Nook, 65. Because I was wondering that as well. Because I thought that was done on the Thursday. So when she was down in Clarksville, I should imagine, on the Friday. So had she been served with that? Had they gone out on their Thursday and gave it to her? I don't know. But you know what? It's getting to the point where you got you had Seth going sending out all those ceased and deceased letters. You had Right, I think it was happening. She was in, yeah, she was in Tennessee, yeah, Clarksville. So yeah, they could, they could have served it to her. They could have served it to to her, it to her on the Friday when she was down there. So yeah, so she went ahead like she did on that bike, uh, benefit bike ride. And I watched one of her videos, not for long, believe me, not for long. Because I used to watch a lot, quite a few of her videos, right? I never ever caught a live because of the time difference. And some of the things she was doing and saying made sense because it's what I was saying about the Sebastian Rogers case, right? But then I think she just went over the top. Right, she just went well over the top of it, and then whenever I went onto her channel, it was either she was on about another YouTuber who was she was being taken to court and whatever for whatever year now, constantly about that, and then she was on about uh, this case, KT and Chris, and I'm thinking. Really? Do you need to talk about that on here? We are here for Sebastian, not for Katie, not for Chris, not for you, not for Seth, not for TikTok Tony, no one else for Sebastian. And can you not can people not just stick to the facts of the case? Which are very little because we haven't been told very much. We have our opinions and we have our thoughts and we talk about our opinions, right? But it's not fact. But no, I had the feeling because she was, when she was on a live, did a live the other night, I thought, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. A, you're not supposed to be talking about Sebastian Rogers, as far as I understand. So why are you sitting here on your YouTube channel talking about Sebastian Rogers? And B, you're in Tennessee. But she what the she wasn't I don't agree with her anger, but she has ten days to appeal, but I wonder where OP, where OP was for Sebastian. Who's OP? Who's OP? Well, she's got to go. They'll probably have her going back to court on the Monday. So she's got to stay there night on Monday. Yes, yeah, she did. And before that, on a live, yeah, I'm going to pull it up, pull it up. 
She was on a lorry and she had this other t shirt on. Hold on. God, I wish I could type. But my fingers seem to go quicker than my mind. Uh, where is it? Let's go on to that. This was twenty two hours ago. Right? And I just want to say, look. Uh, here, it's going. It says, "Mummy, why wasn't I good enough?" Yeah. Now, if that isn't having a dig at someone, I will be protecting. Sorry, my my mind's all over the place. Yeah, and Katie did ask the judge, can she have it on the phone because of her work? And the judge said, no, you have to have the piece of paper with you, right? At all times, at home, in the car, whenever you go out anywhere, whatever. So did she have her audio protection on her? Did she have it with her? I don't know. But on that t-shirt, it's got, what, Mummy, why wasn't I good enough? Okay. You're welcome, Yangi. Yangi Nook 65. Have a good shower and enjoy church. So, I don't know. It's She's having a dig at Katie by having that t-shirt on, I think. Without saying so many words, she's having a dig. And you can't do things like that. Because we all know what that means, and if we all know what she's having a dig at, then I'm sure Katie's going to know she's having a dig at me here. But can she be charged for that? I don't know. Over here in the UK, you probably would get charged for that now. Christ, we can't even... There's a lot of things now we can't even say on Twitter. If I put a YouTube video out and I mention anything like, I can't, I, I can't even tell you what I can't talk about. <laughs> That's how bad it is. Because if I tell you what we can't talk about, I could get a knock on my door, bum, 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 police, shit. And they can come and arrest me. That's how bad, we've got, we've got no democracy at the moment in the UK. We really haven't. Luckily, I live in Scotland, but we still come under the UK. And um, so we don't have any freedom of speech, bill of rights or anything like that. And at the moment, our government are just making up laws, laws as they go along. You know what I mean? One day you could, one day we can be breathing Next day, tomorrow, they can make a law so you can't breathe. That's how quick they are making laws up. We don't know where we stand no more. So, at least you know in the US where you stand. But if I wore a T-shirt like that over here, right, and there was a case, say there was a case over here in the UK with a bit like Sebastian's, right, and I wore a T-shirt like that, that family could have me up in court. That's how bad it is in the UK. I don't know if they can do that in over there. I really don't. So, mummy, why wasn't I good? I think there might be a better. Let's see if we can get a better view of that t shirt. But she also goes and shows you this t-shirt, you know what I mean? Yeah, 
Mm. No, he hasn't got much to. It's a bit weird because people go, ah, Twitter's, Twitter is, a, is, is being flooded with this, and I'm thinking, okay, so I'll go on my Twitter account, I'm punching everyone I know from on my Twitter account, who's on YouTube, who I follow, and I follow on Twitter, and I'm thinking, where, where, there's nothing on my Uh, stream to say there's anything about this. I'm actually having to go and look for it. And there's, there's nothing. And I've got quite a few YouTubers and whatever on my, on my YouTube. Right. So if you want to follow me on my YouTube, I'll put my YouTube account up. But I don't know don't if I've already got it up there. No, I haven't. I'd have to make one and I can't remember my YouTube link. So, black and white. It'll be in the description anyway. I'll put my X account in my description at the end. So if anyone wants to come and follow me on X, you can. Because there's things I post on there that I don't always talk about on YouTube. Right? And I say to people on X, come and follow me, because, follow me on X, because, uh, on YouTube, because there's things on my YouTube that I don't post on X. So, it's, I just don't understand all it. I don't know if it's a bench warrant, or if it's from break, violating one of the protection orders, but I don't know it says. Did they even get that, uh, the protecting all the, the, uh, what was it? Had they even been, had she even been served with the judgment? Now that would be different, I think, if she hadn't been served. But she was down there Friday, so I think they would have served her on Friday with it. She's on YouTube. So then you know, hey, anyone down there will get been in touch with the police and look. But on Betty is in Tennessee. You know what I mean? I'm not like that. Even if if I lived in the USA and I hated the person, I wouldn't do that. I couldn't do that. Why should I do the job of law enforcement? <laughs> Anyway, so, I'm not going to be a long live. I am back on live tonight. It's just a little chit chat about Bullhorn Betty, about this lady. Let's have a look. Oh, look. That her. So, I just feel, there's one person I feel sorry for, and that's Sebastian. Because it's getting overrun by cease and desist, and you've got the parents taking YouTubers to court and all this stuff. If they, if the parents had just put as much energy into looking for her son or their son as they do taking people to court, right? Perhaps we may have found him. But in my eyes, the parents haven't done nothing to look for the son, apart from Seth. So, and there's one channel who's reveling in this at the moment. I've just been watching a little bit of it before coming live. That's why I say I find it a bit comical in a way. Because it's like karma. Karma comes around, doesn't it? What goes around comes around. And perhaps this might hopefully this would show her now, look, you've got to keep your 
big crap shot. You've got to. Now, I'm not messing about here now. You know what I mean? I just hope she didn't bring a gun with her. Because if she had, that's another charge, and that'll take it up a lot more if she's got a gun with her. Right. Okay, if someone can get a hold of her, they can tell her to tell a lawyer that took an oath to serve the best of their ability, or she can get their license. Yep. Uh, it had to be someone to call in because the police aren't just going to just, oh, I'm not going to waste the time my life. It will bring Sebastian's name out further, farther now. I just need, I just want all this negativity, all this cease and desist and court cases to stop, to stop. I want YouTubers to stop. If they're out there on the boots on the ground, don't, don't press to the parents. Don't. Okay, I don't like CP. I openly admit I don't like him. Um, really? Good one. Exactly, if their lawyer is telling her, oh, you don't need to attend or not to attend, and then now having her on a warrant, a bench warrant for not attending, I'll be going, hold on. I'll be right on the phone to my lawyer. What the hell? You told me not to attend. Now I'm sitting in a prison cell because you told me not to attend, and I'm sitting in a prison cell on a bench warrant or whatever. I'd be, I'd sack him. I would be sacking that attorney or lawyer, whoever. If that is the case. I don't see how it can be anything to do with Sebastian. Because she was told it's like a no contact order. If I'm if I was hearing right, which means she cannot contact the parents, Chris, Katie, the grandparents, Kathy and her, her husband, whatever his name is. Um, they can't get on a bench warrant though. Okay. But it's just a shame that like, all this negativity is around this child. You know what? I sometimes think perhaps it's like this one away. She was being stalked. I did hear the call where dispatch said she was she was called in on. Yeah, I did watch that live of hers where she was in Tennessee and she was out putting the flyers up, right? And she's sitting in the car park talking about and uh, talking about it when the police car pulls in behind it. You saw it on video, right? So he comes up to the car, she gets out, she goes away for a few minutes or so, she talks to him. She comes back, she sits in the car, then he comes back again a few minutes later, she he gives her something and he drives away. Then she sat there sitting there in a car talking about Sebastian about these flyers and about wasting police time and all this lot. And then the stepfather, whatever his name is, pulled up behind her car. You seen him do it, I've seen him do it. And then pull away. Her mistake, in my opinion, was following him. She shouldn't have followed him. She had it on camera. That was good enough. Right? And she followed him then, got out of the car because there was that lights, went up and approached him. So he could have her for stalking because she was following him then. But I wanted to know, my question was, right? She's sitting in her car talking about the flyers and all this stuff. How did law enforcement know at that time that she was in that car park? 
How did they know what car she was in? I hope it does, Nanny Nuts. I hope it does. Right? And so I said, how did law enforcement know she was in that car park? How did law enforcement know what car she was in? Right? And all this. And then it clicked. When he pulled up behind her car, right? I thought, hold oh, on. He's the one, this is just my opinion, that phoned law enforcement, told her who she was, what car she was in, and where she was. Because literally, a minute after the police pull away, he pulls up behind her car. So, she had him there, she should, she should just not have followed him out that car park and stopped and went up. She shouldn't have done that, she should, you know what I mean? Because that would have been my questions. I would have took that video to the police and said, look, this is you, you are my car, talking to me. You foot walk away, and then he pulls up behind a second or two and then pulls away. How did you know I was in the car park and what car I was in? Law enforcement wouldn't know what car she was in unless someone tells them, oh, this, um, yes, he was nanging up. So yes, he was. So I don't see how, and I'm not, I don't know, I haven't seen all of lives and to be honest with you I don't watch all of them anyway there's a lot I don't watch but I've never in the ones I've heard I've watched I've never heard her talk about threatening uh Clayton yes she's gone past their house yes she's put flowers up along their road yes she's gone past his Chris's parents house and put flowers up but she's not breaking any law in doing that. She's breaking a law if she goes onto someone's property to do it. But she didn't go on anyone's property to put these flowers up. So I don't know. I think they gave it to... I think the judge decided... Um, Katie, Katie and the parents saw it the other day because she wasn't there. Her lawyer wasn't there. Now, if they had been there, they could have put forward their case. But because no case was put forward on behalf of her, they gave it to Katie. Well, we've got no need to put a case forward, so we're going to give you, give you what you want. You know what I mean? She should have had, she should have been there and her lawyer should have been there fighting her corner. And that's how, why Katie got it for. And someone, uh, there was two people who was there. Right? To you, there's a, a, a team, a husband and wife, I believe, they was at the court. And they said, there's a couple of other cases before uh, Bullhorn who hadn't turned up, right? Who had not turned up to court. So those cases were squashed. And those people who hadn't turned up would get charged for the courts and all that lot. We'll have a charges given to them, like money-wise, what they've got to pay. So, her not being there, right, is not helping her case against them. Now she's going to have to go, they're going, she's got bail, and she probably have to show up on Monday at court. Right? So now she's got to go to court on Monday, and I think she's got to go to court again for Chrissy's 
because he put easy, but they couldn't. They couldn't. Um, what's the name? He's on Thursday because he put easy on a later date, so they have to give that sufficient time for each case to be put forward. It hurt him. It. I can feel her passion for Sebastian. You know what I mean? But why? I can't. I don't know if the judge, judge's orders are meaning she can't talk about him on her YouTube channel. She can't get his name and his picture out there. I don't know if that involves any of that. Because I don't know how the laws work over there. And I wasn't at the court. Now, if I lived over there, I'd be in that court. <laughs> and believe it or not, I've got a little, I'm not joking, I've got this little, hold on, I see, it's a little, <laughs> it's so small, it fits in the palm of my hand. And it's a recorder. <laughs> and I'll do that in my, in my hand, on my lap. I can't see, I'm sitting in over on my lap. Right? And it's in my hand. You cannot see. You cannot see. Right? I'd drag it on her uh, record. I'd drag it so I could still, it could still pick up voices so my fingers wouldn't have been over the mark area. But it's been on my lap, they wouldn't have seen it. And I'd drag it on record. I'd get locked up, I would, if I was out there in the USA, I really would. I think I'll get locked up in the UK as well if I'm um, <laughs> right. But uh, it didn't help her by not being there on the Thursday. She should have gone. Her lawyer should have been there to fight her case. Because as far as I could see, on that day when she was in Tennessee, she didn't see. She didn't get out the car when she drove past the house. She just went up the road, put some flowers on the post, drove back down the road and away. Now she went past, said hello, Katie, hello, Chris, you know what I mean? A bit sarcastically, but who wouldn't? I'd be going around, hi, Katie, hi, Chris, you know what I mean? If I was down there and I drove past. What? How would they know it was her? Because I was sitting at their house, I was sitting outside watching people go, oh, that's Bull on Betty, oh, that's Jay, that's. You know what I mean? Are they actually watching for people going past their house? No, they've got people telling them. Oh, full on, Betty's going live. She's just going past your house. You know what I mean? But it's on a road, a public road. So they couldn't stop her. But now they have. Because she's got an injunction where she can't go within a certain distance of their house and a certain distance of them. A lot, a lot of things cover up these injunctions, these protection orders. But she's got another one to come yet for Chris, and that would be about, that would include Faith. So, and I must admit, she did put a picture out with Faith and Katie, right? But she didn't blur out Faith. She didn't blur out that picture of Faith. Now, that wasn't right. Uh, I'm back on tonight at 8 o'clock, right, and if she says so she wants, so that's what, 5, 5pm 5 your time, 5, 6pm your time, whatever, so I'm back on at 8 o'clock tonight, we can talk about this a bit more then if you want, so thank you Nanny Nooks. But it's just, it's just worrying. I don't know what we can have. It's 10.48 now. <laughs> right, so that's what. Four, Four hours away for me, so that'll make it. About quarter to three your time or quarter to four your time. 
It's really hard because when you're in the UK and you're covering any places in the USA, because USA have different time zones as well. And so, really? <laughs> and you have to, thank you, Nanny Nuts. Thank you very much. If you want to email me then, you, uh, you can. I'm not on Facebook at the moment because apparently I've got to sort some paperwork out and send it to them. Apparently I put some effect, something that went against their rules. And I sat there reading it and thinking, they've got the right, have they got the right Facebook page here? I don't post on my, I've got my main Facebook page which I post for family and friends. And I've got my two little Facebook pages that I run for my children's group and my diamond art group. And then I've got my crime and justice page. And all I ever post on there are anything to do with this case, uh, with any of the cases, right? Like Sebastian Rogers um, or uh, Audrey Cunningham, which I'm trying to find out more information on that, but there's no been no updates on him either yet, so I don't know. So and then we've got the um I've just been doing a lot of videos on her. Oh, my mind goes a blank. Anyway, but there's so much going on at the moment that I'm covering, so just oh um Madeline Madeline Soto, I've been covering that the past few days. I just needed a break from Sebastian and all the BS that was going on. So I picked up on that. The email is on the screen. Can you see it, Nanny? Nanny Nuts. I can put it here if you want. There, I'll just put it in the chat for you. So, thank you uh, for saying if you send me that information because I was a bit dumbfounded when I heard that they've taken her to court. I thought, for what? You know what I mean? She hadn't done nothing apart from put flyers out. And I'm thinking, what? what is it about that? I don't know and want this lad to be found. Every time anyone gets too close, in my opinion, if anyone gets too close, it's like, oh, we've got to stop this. I can, oh, we'll take it to court. She's insulted us. She's following us. She's harassing us. She's doing this. She's doing that. So she could go to court on Thursday. She could afford her, uh, get, put her argument across. And I don't think she would have got all these all just put against her. Because she's not being in Wengi Katie, she's not being in Wengi Chris. Cross say, up until the summer summer started, they've been down in where? Memphis, Mississippi, in that five wheeler. They only came back up to Tennessee in the summer holidays because they had faith. Thank you, Nanny Nuts, I appreciate that. So, enjoy your time at church. She got here Thursday evening. Well, so they could have served her then. So I'd like to know if she had received it. Because I know when I uh, did the lot, heard her on the live, I think it was on a Saturday morning. Which could have been like afternoon time for me. It was like, uh, we had a busy day yesterday, I'm so tired and all this stuff, right? And I think I might have to come back before the bike ride starts to freshen up. I was thinking, you shouldn't be there. I know she wasn't in Hendersonville, she was in Clarksville. 
But why are you? Oh, why does she keep? What's that saying? Uh, what's that saying? Why does she keep poking the bear? Christ, if that had been in the UK, we could have been arrested. We didn't walk as soon as we went over the threshold into Tennessee. <laughs> they have, like you, they have license registration number plate. Why? Daddy, clean, see my registration. Oh, there she is. Book up. Arrest her. Because we've got no freedom of speech. We can't talk about nothing no more. Right? The only time I'll talk about anything now about what's going on in the UK is if I read it from one of the mainstream media papers, which just give us a load of BS. So I don't believe anything they tell us. So at the moment, I'm not covering anything that's going on in the UK because I don't know what I can say, what I can't say, or anything. And I have to be careful on YouTube as well, what I say. But she, if she got given them papers, she must got given them papers Thursday night, Friday morning, then, or Friday sometime. She must have got served. Someone will get told law enforcement. Why did she go to the bike ride? She shouldn't have gone. Has she got an attorney? I don't think she has. God bless you, Nanny Nooks. Say a prayer for me, please. Thank you. So, it's just, uh, I'm just doing thank you for it all. I I was supposed to come on live last night, and I come in here yesterday afternoon, and I put a video out, set out to go out to four, and I've done that because I had to go to the shops. So I've got that video already scheduled to go out to four. Come back from the shops, and coming in, I opened up my app to do the profile picture for my live bank tomorrow, last night, and to set my live up. And I opened it all up, I went in the living room, sat down, had a coffee, and bump, I was out. My head, I don't know where I went, it was like my body just ooh, had had so much, and it just gave up on me. And I literally flaked out on the sofa. And I woke up about, ooh, about 8 30 ish. I went, oh, no, I'm not going to. I didn't even see the benefit. Well, I saw a clip of it where Bull and Betty was in the back of a car or something. And then I'm, I'm singing out of sleep all night then. And then I got up on my cat for morning because I wanted to go to bed. So I went to bed about 11. I was still in and out of sleep. I was so drowsy yesterday afternoon. It was like I had you no know, energy. And I thought, oh, God, it's one of them days again where I'm just going to sleep. So I went to bed. And finally, the cat set up, my two cats settled down after trying to bite my arm. And me telling him twice not to bite my arm. But they settled down. I woke up this morning and I got up and I felt better. I thought, I didn't do my live last night. My laptop was still plugged in. Everything was still on. Because I, I just fell asleep. I hadn't turned nothing off. And uh, so I goes on my YouTube on TV. I think it's poor old Betty's being arrested. Oh my God, no. She shouldn't have gone. You know what I mean? Because I was hearing there was no bond. I thought, well, if there's no bond, she's not going to see. She's going to be there till Monday when she goes to see the judge. It's okay to the court. But the reason there was no bond at first was because she was picked up by, I think it was, what was it they said? Was it Montgomery? Montgomery County. Right? That was the one who picked on the rest. She was then being transferred from there, I should imagine, some, to Sumner County. And it was once she got to Sumner County that she'd have the charges given. Well, she'd have her charges given to her before, but she'd be read them again and she'd be set her bail. 
But until she got transferred over to from the county or whoever it was, she was going to, they were having no bond on her. And I thought, I'll tell you now, I thought, Sumner County, Hendersonville, Clarksville, you name it, their police are going to be inundated with phone calls. You had Queen Bee phoning up. You had just in for all phoning up. You had someone on his channel phoning up. You had other people phoning up. I'm thinking, hmm, all these people phoning up for Bull Humberto. Who's phoning up and pushing about Sebastian? Who's phoning up some of the county police and saying, why aren't you out there looking? You've got one person assigned each day for this case. You know, why aren't you out there looking? You know what I mean? Why aren't police pestering them for that? Why aren't they pestering the police for that? Rather than all those people phoning up about BHB. So, I thought, I know if I lived in the USA, I wouldn't be phoning up to see whether she's, whether the rest of doing that. I'd wait for it to come out on the news. I really would. Because it's, it's just a joke. And it's, well, it's getting beyond a joke now. Because I don't even know, if I do a live on Sebastian, Will I have a cease and desist sent out to me? Will I have parents putting complaints about me? Okay, I live in the UK and there's not very much they can do about taking me to court. And the chance of me getting on a plane, very, very slim because I don't like flying. So you'd have to sedate me. So the chance of me coming to the USA full stop is very, very slim. But I'm just thinking, if I say something about them, could, I, could they get into some our police? I really say, look, she's saying that's just stuff about this family, blah, blah, blah. We want it stopped. Could they step in and say that? So I'm never sure what I can say or not say no more. Because if, it, if it's put into our police hands, then I'll be arrested. There's no ifs and whoops about it. They, they just arrest you. And I found out the other day, Right? If you get arrested in the UK, well, in Scotland anyway, but then get released with no charges, right? They just release you, right? But it's a certain, there's a certain charge. It's not a charge that you get to spend jail time, but it can affect you getting a job but you don't know about that charge because they don't tell you about that charge because in their eyes there is no charge you're just being released but on the paperwork it does affect you getting a job or anything like that and i think i'm going to have to look into this because that can't be right and there was a channel that covered it, so I'm going to watch his channel again. I'm going to have to watch his channel again and listen to it because I thought that cannot be right. You've got to know about what charges are. You know what I mean? Because when you get charged and released, you say, so this ain't going to affect me. This ain't going to be on any paperwork. It's not going to be on any disclosures if I do. They say no. But this charge is not a charge as such, but it can come up on a disclosure which can affect you getting a job, which is unfair, because it's like a silent charge. You don't know about it, but it's there. Well, that's not right. So I'm going to look into that. I might do a video on that, see what I find out. Watch this guy's video first and then do a video on it, because you can't be right. So at the moment, I just don't know what I can say, what I can post. But bull on buddy, meet bull on buddy, bull on buddy, for Christ's sake.
one on but it needs to hopefully this will reset her put a reset on her and make her think a bit clearer rather than going in like a bowling in china shop that is a a you a british say, saying you're like a bullying a china shop right so instead of being like a bullying a china shop and going in head first and whatever she's got to stop and think what she's saying what she do but if it's got anything to do when she's down in tennessee on that video i watched apart from her then following him he made the car park she had done even then i don't think it deserved anything you know what i mean she hadn't done anything wrong so i just don't think she should have followed him out the car park and then approached him she shouldn't have done that because she had it on video that the police pulled up first and after the police went he pulled up behind her took her a photo of her registration but my question was how did the police know she was in in that car park how did the police know her car number, her car tag? I thought someone, and then when he pulled up, I thought, yeah, he told him. He's he sat somewhere in that car park, right? <coughs> 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 so I just saw a bay, right? He sat somewhere, he's found law enforcement, told them that she's doing this and doing that. They've come out. Question to her, spoke to her, they've gone away, and then he put, and I thought, that's too much of a coincidence for I had a place to turn up, and then you can see seconds later, he's behind the car taking a photo of her tag. So it had to be him, because they wouldn't have known what car she was in or what car park she was in, unless someone phoned in. But because she didn't go on Thursday, she didn't put an argument forward to fight these allegations. And that was the mistake she's made. And if, if she's made that mistake on orders of her attorney, by him saying, no, you don't need to go, and she didn't, I'd be suing my attorney. You know what I mean? You tell me not to go. I'm going to clink. You know what I mean? But I just find it sad that it's coming to all this with the cease and desist and parents chasing YouTubers for court and all that. Life. Put that energy into finding Sebastian. Stop going after the parents. Like, what was it? I was doing a live, a video the other day. Um, um, Madeline Soto, right? And it was an interview, a police interview with Stephen Stone's parents. Now, before I did my video on him, I was watching a YouTube channel, I'm not going to say names, and this YouTuber is having a right go about the parents. Wow, look at the child you brought up. You know what I mean? Look at that son you brought into this world and all that. I'm thinking, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, they may have molecule dug him, especially the mother. They may have uh, supported him, gave him money, paid his rent for this and done this and done that, gave him cars, brought, got phones for him. They, they did molecule dig him. They paid for a lot, for everything. He literally sponged off his parents, yeah? But I thought, you can't have a go at the parents for what he did. You can't. It's not their fault. People say he should man up. He shouldn't have been living at his parents. He should be man up to get a job, to get his own place and all that. Life. Right, so what? how can they control him then? Once he moves out and he's, got his, he's living with his partner or so-called partner or whatever, and he's doing what he's doing. How do they know what he's doing? They can't control him. They can't control what he does, what he says, or where he goes. They can't. He's a grown up, he's a grown ass man. So you, even though I don't like CP here, and it was just that one thing he said. 
And that was like, whoa, whoa, no, 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 not having it. Right? And if you're watching this on replay, you probably know what I mean, that one thing he did and said. And then when he's coming and he's having a go up at YouTubers on a panel and things like that, I'm thinking, why are you so nasty? Why are you so, why are you so angry? Right? This is why YouTubers are talking about you because of how you react. Because of what you say. Because of what you do. Right? Or not do. And then they don't like it. Well, don't come on YouTube then. And then you'll give us nothing to talk about. So I stopped. I did a few uh, lives, uh, videos and lives about Chris. How he, I was literally going through this one live he was on where he came me on it, like pulling a china shop. Oh, and he went for the YouTubers on there and the private tech investigators on there. I thought, what a piece of SHIT. Right? And since that one interview did with another YouTuber where he mentioned that incident, and then people go on about how, well, Seth Sugar said about the pull-ups and Seth Sugar talked about the SA. Well, did you hear what Seth said before we mentioned the SA and the pull-ups? Chris had been blackmailing him. If you don't get these people to stop asking about why I won't have my daughter around your son, I will tell them exactly why and then no one will want to look for your son. So that's why Seth has had him up. i Chris constantly saying that to him. Get, get everyone to stop talking about us, asking me that question about why I don't have faith. And then Sebastian, get him to stop. And Seth has had enough of the lies coming from Chris, the lies coming from Katie. You know what I mean? He's had enough. So that's why he thought, you know what, I'd rather put it out there, right, than have that piece of SHIT put it out there, right, now me personally, I'd be going, you know what, Chris, go ahead, do it, put it out there, because I'll tell you now, he wouldn't have done it, because Chris has not got the Bullons to do it is a piece of. I don't like the guy. I just don't like him. Right? And I've always said if I had a big panel and a big chat, uh, channel, I would not have him on here. I would have Katie on here and I'd be respectful to her. Right? Because it's still that nagging guy. I can't believe that a mother would harm a child. I know we have cases of mothers harming the child. I know we do, but I just can't get them. Right? So, but there's just little things she has said or done, and I'm thinking, hmm, did she? I don't know. No one knows. It's all guesswork. It's all Speculation, it's all assumptions. That one with the interview where she does the hand signal where she said, I was driving around, I was driving up past the school, and he, and she stopped in the mid sentence, and as she said, and he, she did the hand signal across her throat. I mean, really? Did she just, did, did she just, you know what I mean? I'm literally dumbfounded. Did she just do that? So, little things like that, that bother me. And then you get, like, people coming out, those, the neighbours have got on their home security camera, because it cannot be a ring doorbell. The ring doorbell will not catch bedroom lights coming on and off, unless you've got constantly set where... It's recording constantly all the time. From the moment you get up in the morning to the moment. So you've got 24 hour 
you know, home security camera would catch it. Right? And if someone had, like, a ring doorbell on their door and it hit their front door, then that's invading their privacy. So they could complain about that. Why is your ring doorbell picking up whenever my door opens? It wouldn't pick it up. So, yes, I think he could have done it. If, he, if something, if you're going down the line of nothing happened in that house, nothing happened to him in that house, then, yes, I think he could have left that house. And, yes, I do think he could have got past a lot of cameras. Right? A lot of cameras. It's dark. He was wearing black. He could have got past a lot of cameras. So, you just look at how the parents are now. How Seth is. How he's reacted as time gone on. How Kate and Chris have acted from day one. You know what I mean? Would you want to live in that household? Uh, no, I've only been gone years ago, I think. In my mother, I must admit, I grew up when my mother was really bad. But I never thought about leaving home because I knew where I was best off. I knew I was better off at home. You know what I mean? I had a roof over my head, I had clothes on my back, I had food in my tummy. Right? So, it's like a bit, growing up, it's a bit like a marriage, you take the good with the bad. Right, so you take the good times with the bad times. As you grow up, sometimes as you grow up, you have good times, really good times, and then you might have some bad times. But you work through it, you get past it, and then you've got good times again. So your whole life is working on it. You're constantly working on it. You're working on growing up. You're working on when you're growing up and you've got a marriage. You're working on your marriage, the good times, the bad times. And it's constant. You never stop. It never stops. So you just take it day by day. So I do believe he could have walked out of that house. And that's what I'm saying. Oh, well, we'd have heard him if he went out of his bedroom window. Uh, no, you wouldn't. You're on the back end of the house, on the other side of the house, where he's on the front end of the house. How on earth would you hear him going out of his bedroom window when you're in the back end of the house? You wouldn't. Right? Would that home security camera, that picked up his bedroom light going on and off, uh, seeing him climb out the window, you don't know because he was all in black. If the lights were all up in the house and he's climbing out and it's pitch black out there, would he, would that camera pick him up? You can't say it could. So he could have walked away. So you just got to stay positive until we. As my son's still saying, he always looks on missing cases as positive. That person is alive until they are found, one way or the other. And until they are found, in his head, in his mind, in his thoughts, that child or that person is alive. Until told otherwise. You know what I mean? And I quite understand where he comes from when he says that. You've got to think, well, we've got no proof for you, think, alive. And we've got no proof. He is alive. So, where do you go? I'd rather go on. He's alive. That side. Until. Told where was. And. Hopefully. I'll still do videos and YouTube. Uh, lives on Little Glad. Because I think his life. Does matter. I think the truth needs to come out. I think he needs to be found. But I don't think it's going to help if people keep going after the parents. Because the more you go after the parents, 
the more Sebastian is being forgotten. So please, if you learn, if you take nothing from this this video, nothing, then just take this. Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers, 15-year-old autistic lad, went missing on the 26th of February between midnight and 6 a.m. No sign, no sighting, nothing. The last known sighting was on the 25th of February at about 6.30, where we seen leaving the Texas Roadhouse with his mother. Very blurry, dark video of someone putting the beans out. Couldn't tell who it was. Right. But that, those are the facts. That's it. We have no other facts. We don't know about, there is a car parked up outside on the road sometimes during the night. There is two, or one light at least, moving towards where that car is. And then one light, that light then going back towards the house. But the same thing is, you don't, we don't see that car pulling away. Why are we not seeing that car pull away? That's a question as well. If you've got a child in the back of your car that shouldn't be there, you're not going to sit there for long, are you? You're going to be in your away. You're going to be away. You're not going to be, oh, I will just sit here for the next five, five, ten minutes. No, we've got a child in the back of our car that shouldn't be here. We're going to pull away now. But you don't see the car pull away. You see the lights come on, but you don't see that car pull away. Now, I'd like to see more of that video of that car pulling away. It's got to be. If you're trying to have a home security camera, it's got to have that car pulling away. Now, did they say he revert? Oh, well done. No, well done. I think they said the car reversed backwards onto Kelling, uh, Kelling Road and then drove away. That was it, yeah. Yeah, sorry, my fault. It does. They say the car reversed backwards onto Kelling Lane and then drove away. So, and as for all, the dog sent taking him up to the construction site, I know for a fact one of the, night, the people who lived on that site in the houses that have been built, said on the Monday when the police went to their house, they had seen Sebastian in that area before, just not that day. So we know he's been up there before. So when that dog picked up that scent, that scent could have been from the uh, Thursday, the Friday, the Saturday before he went missing. So, we can't say he was took up there. We don't know. Because you've got Chris saying there's three dogs that followed the scent. You've got law enforcement saying there's no dog scent. Anyway, as I said, it's not going to be a long one because I'm back on again at 8 pm tonight. And we are looking at a new case of Kansas Cantra. And this control from Garland County. Uh, she went missing. Right, well, I I've written down some. She went missing on Thursday. That was the twenty second at about eleven p.m. Uh, apparently she climbed out of a bedroom window onto the roof, top, top of the dog panel and went into the woods. There is a POI, Timothy Burr, he's 40 years old. He's married, but he was grooming this young girl. 
So we're going to be looking at that case tomorrow, it's a new case. So if you're interested in this, it needs, she, her name and her picture needs to be out there just as much as anyone else. There's another young lad as well who went missing. We need, I need to get the information on that lad so we can get his information out there as well. Okay, so let's get back to business and let's start getting this, these, these children's names out there, their faces out there. You can't just be on one child. You can't. Because then people say, well, why aren't these children getting the in interest? Oh, because everyone's focused on one child. Yeah. Yeah, no. A lot of them focus on a lot of drama. And they get a lot of people coming in. And they... My channel is not monetized at the moment. My, I don't think I'll ever will have it monetized. Apart from adverts. Right? I might have memberships, but that will be it. I, won't, I don't think I'll have super chat. If I did, I think I'd donate that money to some cause, some children's cause. I don't know yet. Because I've been running this channel now since the end of January, beginning of February. I've been paying the money out each month. I've not missed that money. Right? So, any, I don't think I'll have it monetized where I get super chat. I don't know. If I do, then I think this, I'll set it up so each month that if I get any super chat, that money goes to a cause, a children's cause or another cause, you know what I mean? So anyway, a long way off from that happening anyway. So let's get back on track and let's start getting these children's names out there. And let's just get rid of this. And let's stop all this bickering. Please. Enough. Enough is enough. And I've got to put my fat laptop about to die on me. Oh, brilliant. Right, so. Anyway, I'll be back again at 8 o'clock tonight, so I'll see you all there then. If you're watching on replay, please, I, I need to know, please give this video a like. It just helped with the analytics, it just helped push it out. Um, please share. Well, no, don't bother sharing this one so much, it's not worth it. Because everyone's talking about BHB, so it's not worth it. Right, please like it then. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So if you're watching on replay, be it on YouTube or X, if you're on X, give me some love. If you're on YouTube, give this video a like and please, please help me out and go and subscribe to my channel. Um, and I'll see you all. Soon. Till later.